Hey guys, this is Yanis, and in today's episode, I want to share something different. Usually, I tend to share uh, the business tips, the things that I do in my business, uh, the lessons I've learned uh, in the past uh, while developing my online business, and and so on, uh, as well as some um, you know personal development stuff. You know where I talk about um, how to how to achieve the goals and how to start your day with the right routine and everything. Uh, but today, I really wanted to focus on complete opposite. Um, and I'm going to be sharing my failures, uh, things that hasn't worked out, uh, things that I've failed at uh, massively. I'm sharing this because I think I want to kind of uh, shed a light on, on, on both things because as you guys know, everything on the internet is all the best stuff, you know, best moments from the day, uh, best emotions and everything. But in reality, you know, in everybody's life, there are downsides and there are things that are going on uh, that people never share. And I think that will help us kind of relate that, you know, when you're watching, you know, uh, when you're following somebody and you're watching them online, you think, oh, that guy's doing so well or that girl is doing so well. It just every day something new is happening for her and it's only, only good, 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 good. But in fact, it's not true. And there is also a downsides. Uh, dips, um, emotional breakdowns and so forth. It's just the internet that makes it look so good. So I'm going to be sharing a couple of things that have been happening with me um, and hopefully you can relate and, and, and get a different perspective. And uh, obviously, if you've been going through some tough times, uh, then you will be able to relate and say, hey, these things are happening to me as well. But, you know, if Yanis can keep going, then I can do as well. So hopefully that can inspire you uh, a little bit. So let's get started. So the first thing uh, is audience targeting. Uh, obviously, about half a year ago, uh, six months ago, I uh, decided that I want to change the way I do the things with my YouTube. And I, I was looking into kind of going in a specific niche instead of uh, being quite broad, you know, and delivering message to everybody. Uh, I thought I would kind of narrow down my audience and really focus talking to that one specific audience. And I was hoping to get more engagement and also more reach uh, because I was able to to target uh, more specific kind of keywords and niches. And I did quite a lot of work with it uh, and I also got my team involved. And of course, before we moved into that, we didn't just jump on it. Uh, we did quite a proper uh, like market research uh, we researched the topics in this field and we saw that there is not a lot of content and we also did uh, like a content research to see if there is a demand for that content because all the videos are, or at least most of the videos that, that I do that are content videos um, uh, in our team we do like a keyword research and we search for specific keywords and see if we can compete for those uh, specific phrases or keywords and the results came back and they were really really promising and I was also thinking that yeah this is what I want to do uh, I was quite convinced that I will be uh, kind of immersed into it and I will be able to kind of increase my results uh, with my YouTube but then um, we kind of started it off uh, we after we did the research we decided that we're gonna go ahead with it and uh, I started to produce the content and we started to do the videos and everything but nothing really kind of changed in terms of engagement you know maybe time frame was too short but in about three months time i started to realize that i really wasn't kind of connecting uh, with that audience and and not only with the audience but also with the content and the, the way i was presenting the content very quickly in about three months time i realized you know what if i'm gonna have to keep doing that um, I'm not gonna feel very satisfied with myself because I had to start to push myself to, to do these videos um, to, to prepare them and, and, and do everything. Soon after that, I kind of sat down and I asked a couple of my friends what to do and I decided to change that. So obviously my attempt to go into a new market were literally failed because um, I didn't realize what it's gonna take. Uh, and I also failed to uh, kind of establish the real demand and how it would change the things. Uh, so that's the first thing what happened and basically soon after that I changed my uh, my content strategy to the things what I uh, love more doing and what I'm doing uh, kind of uh, after that uh, which is you know I'm sharing more 
of the ways that I develop my online business and do the things because they're closer to me and I feel you know passionate about them and I can't wait to do the next video uh, about uh, about this topic so that's the first thing uh, that I failed at recently the second thing that I failed at is the book uh, obviously I was planning to publish a book this year uh, but as I was changing my content, uh, the book lost its purpose. Uh, obviously, before I was more focused on personal development, uh, and that was the that was kind of a content uh, main content for the book. And as I was moving onto something else, the book itself just literally lost the purpose, and I just stopped writing it and started to focus on another things. And I'm definitely not going to be finishing that this year. So uh, that's another thing that I've failed at. Uh, the third thing that recently happened was I lost my main client. Obviously, he was responsible about most of my income. Um, and the thing is that you can't always predict everything. Um, you know, things happen and you just have to go with it and uh, kind of move forward. Number four, uh, I've recently also lost uh, one of my team members um, uh, for about... I would say three months, uh, I was um, kind of outsourcing a content writer uh, who would help me with the creating content for different platforms. And uh, basically uh, he increased his uh, fees uh, recently and uh, we were having to uh, kind of go a different ways because I wasn't uh, kind of capable of um, like paying as much as he expected uh, after a period of time, but obviously those things do happen and maybe I didn't evaluate our um, cooperation at the very beginning. Uh, although, you know, as I said before, you, you can't always predict everything. Uh, and we did work together for, uh, I think, a good two or three months. And, you know, while we were working together, it was, you know, all right. Uh, and he was preparing a good content and I didn't have to change much of a thing. So it was quite efficient. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we had to end our relationship and kind of move on. And number five is my mobile game uh, that I was planning to finish by the end of the year. Uh, and again, uh, things have changed and I was having to focus my team efforts uh, onto different projects and uh, already delayed process of uh, finishing the game. Uh, unfortunately, will have to be postponed again and we will be only able to kind of get back on it uh, next year. Uh, so as we plan to develop the game and publish uh, by end of this year, uh, that is not going to be happening, which is another thing that I've failed at uh, in terms of planning. And that was, you know, that has been already postponed a number of times because of the different reasons. Um, you know, most of the times it was just additional work on uh, game mechanics and improvements. Now, for the last time, uh, I, have, as I said, I've had to have team working on something else, uh, which I prioritized. Um, and that's what happens, you know, if you, you know, move your priorities, you know, from one place to another, you're going to have to live with uh, something that didn't work out as it was planned. So those are the five things that I've failed at uh, recently. And I also want to add that those are just a couple of things. Those are, you know, some of the biggest things. And this is only looking back at about last six months. Uh, so these things do happen all the time and I'm not the only one who is dealing with the failure all the time. Uh, it's a lot of uh, business owners and entrepreneurs dealing with things on everyday basis. Something is not working out and we have to figure it out. So if you're going through the tough times and you know something is not working out and you know you're failing to deliver on time you're losing the clients you're losing the team members it all happens to all of us and there is nothing like nothing wrong with it i think uh, because it's been happening over and over and in between those things there's also good things those are the good things that we post on our social media where we say hey i just had a successful day hey i just you know achieved this milestone and this milestone and those things kind of go on but in between those things you know for every single person there are also failures going on all the time uh, it's just about how you manage those failures and you don't give up just because oh this didn't work out so that means i can't do that no you can do that you just have to take a different route you have to use different techniques uh, because if you keep doing the same things then you're always going to get the same results and um, so hopefully you can relate to that guys um, and i was just you know hoping that 
this is gonna shed a light on, on like general situation uh, because it's um, what I've just shared. Uh, it's just with every single person. Every single person uh, is growing through the hard times, uh, tough times and dealing with the failure uh, consistently. Um, it just, as I said, about managing it and keeping it on the side and not letting it get in your way. And if you can relate to any of those things, make sure you leave the comment below and stay tough and just keep moving forward. Uh, this was me, Yanis from Driven by Goal, helping you to achieve your goals. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about... And number five is... And the main thing is to make sure that you...